It's a camera made of Lego. And yes, that's how you say Lego. It's not with an S. Let's dive into it. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. Lego camera. I've actually had this for like a year and a half or so, uh, and I've never gotten around to making the video. I mean, not necessarily true. I have shot stuff um, in the past with it for like demo shots and things and a little bit of video. I even took it to Lego land, but that was kind of a mistake because if it's too loud there to film any videos. All right, I got the Lego camera and we're at Lego land. I want to shoot some photos. I didn't anticipate it being this popping. I planned on recording audio, but that's not gonna, I, don't, I think I'm just gonna give up on that. It was a little too loud there. I really wanted to do like a full on video, breaking this down and going and doing crazy stuff, but like it literally is just one button and you take a picture. There's nothing else to it. So that video kind of never happened. <laughs> I still really wanted to show the camera off to you guys, let you guys know of its existence. It's just gonna be a little bit more of a casual video. So this is a digital camera that is built out of Lego bricks. This is crazy, this is ridiculous. I um, picked this up on eBay for a good deal of $50, I think it was. This thing's kind of rare-ish. Uh, it's uh, not a lot of them pop up for sale, and when they do, they tend to be kind of expensive. So if you're wanting one of these for yourself, there, there are two models of this. Uh, there's a eight megapixel one, which is this one, which hey, that's actually pretty good. And then there's a lower one. I don't remember what it is, four megapixel maybe, five, something like that, but there are two models. But this thing is so basic, you literally just turn it on and you push the button. And the only options that you have for this thing for shooting is the flash button. You can turn it on or off. And the flash for this thing is kind of crazy overpowered. This thing is so bright. You almost have to put some sort of diffusion over this thing, otherwise, it's just gonna wash out your pictures. This thing came out in 2009, and uh, that's really all the information I know of it. Uh, it looks like they just took like a web camera and stuck it in here and add a screen to the back of it, uh, and then built Lego around it. And it's actually Lego branded bricks. But fun fact about Lego, they only make the building sets. Anything else that you see Lego slapping their name on is made by other companies, like approved companies. So if you see like t-shirts or backpacks or even like the, the cups and pencil things, all that stuff is not made by them. It's made by a lot of other companies uh, and they just slap their name on it. Same with this thing. It's actually made by a company called Digital Blue. I know the information is totally irrelevant, but it's just kind of a cool little fact. So I wanted this mostly just because, well, I like cameras, I like oddities, I like interesting stuff like this. But also, I have a background with Lego. Me and Lego go way back. I actually opened a retail business. I mostly bought and sold Lego products. I bought a brand new Harley Davidson motorcycle with 100%, I, I'm not, not joking, 100% Lego money, that was a selling on the side. Actually, I was unemployed. I was unemployed at the time. I had gotten fired. Story for another day. Uh, Lego and I go way back. It's kind of a combination of both things I love, photography and Lego. I got a lot of Lego around here. I wanted to go way more in depth in this video, but there's really not a lot to this camera. It's a super simple point shoot and you have your picture, which is pretty cool. The experience shooting this camera isn't the best. It takes a few minutes. To really take this a couple of photos uh, it's very slow i'm curious to see the image quality because on the screen it does not look very good but it's kind of fun to shoot it with the lego camera at lego land it's pretty cool where's the sign there it is lego land and the way you get your pictures off of this thing you have to plug it in there's no sd cards or anything like that and it's also rechargeable there is no battery option or compartment you just have to plug it in let it charge take your picture uh, battery life will vary because as these get older the batteries will not hold charges for very long but this one actually does pretty good job at staying charged i mean i'm not out there using this as my dedicated camera i just go out and shoot a you know, handful of pictures and i have other cameras that i'm focused on shooting with 
with. What I like to do on like client jobs and stuff, I always like to bring some sort of unique camera or just something unique or memorable or just kind of lighten the mood because sometimes when you're out there working and filming stuff, it gets a little stressful and people are on edge and ah. But if you pull out a funky camera like this, it tends to lighten the mood a little bit and they like want to talk about it. It adds a little anecdote, snap some photos, they have some fun. It really boosts morale, I have found, uh, when I bring weird little things. And yes, I do have a day job. YouTube is not my full-time job, even though it kind of is. My main client or my main employer is, uh, is a YouTuber as well. So uh, I shoot edit videos for her channel. So in a way, YouTube kind of is my, my day job. Just not, just another Chris. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. This thing is super fun. It would have been really cool if they had some fun filters in this thing, like maybe like a Lego Fi button that you can push and it like adds bricks to the images or something, something like that would be really neat, but uh, it doesn't. It's just simple, point, shoot, boom. You have your picture. Um, you can actually build onto this too. I wish I had like a bulk bin of Lego because I would actually kind of like build something out with it. It would be pretty sweet. Would you guys like to see like me go do a professional photo shoot using just this or maybe a scenario using just this? Well, let me know in the comments below and I might just do that. Do you have one of these cameras or do you have something weird and interesting that you like to use? I also would like to hear about that. I love going down these rabbit holes with just unique oddity uh, cameras and such. So if you guys have something like that, let me know. Leave some comments below. Let's chat. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there. Make some art. Maybe even build some Lego.